All right. So after we finish the the first part is concept. Then the second one we want to uh, share with you is how the e invoice process flow compared to the current invoice process flow. All right. So this is the current invoice process flow. So currently you might issue invoice using the system in, uh, from the post system from the handwriting you bring up or you after you issue invoice then you send the invoice to your customer either pdf or paper so after your customer receive your invoice they will recheck the invoice and then verify whether there's any error any mistake or not so if let's say any error mistake they will ask you to amend so you amend accordingly and then change the invoice correct right so if no amendment the staff you key the data in the accounting system and keep the invoice in the file. So, so this is current invoice process and then it's complete. Then after you finish your account, then submit to the audit or submit for test, right? This is current invoice process. What's the difference compared to the e-invoice process? Huh? So e-invoice process, they, uh, they have an additional work for you to do, okay? First, you might, e you might issue an e-invoice using the only there is two methods for you to issue invoice huh? one is use a my invoice portal another one is api portal okay so you will use either one to issue invoice then you submit to the rv income desk after that income desk will validate your e invoice and check whether it's any error or mistake or not if let's say no issue income test will notify both supplier and buyer once the e invoice is validated so how the income tax notify both party? Uh, so they will be refer to the email address set in the e invoice, and maybe they will send. Uh, I think they will send email to both party. So when you receive the email, say that you e receive invoice, or you 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 receive a validated invoice, then you need to check whether there's any thing, any amendment you want to amend or not, or whether you agree agree or the for the e invoice or not. Okay. Once validated, supplier can share the invoice to the buyer because sometimes maybe your supply, uh, the buyer didn't open the email, so you can share the invoice to the uh, supplier, uh, buyer first. Okay, so we did both party you can do the rejection and cancellation which is seventy two hours. So seventy two hours means when you after you issue validate the invoice, uh, invoice is validated by the income tax, you have seventy two hours for you to do the cancellation and reject. Okay, so example, after you issue invoice to your buyer, to your customer, your customer said that maybe the amount is wrong, maybe the uh, some uh, item is wrong. So to reject the invoice, they can pardon, say, I want to reject. So now the your, your company, when your company no, notice that your customer is reject, so you need to set the rejection from the income tax. If you want to accept, then go to amendment. If let's say you forgot to do accept, and then after your customer reject, you didn't accept. So after 72 hours pass, there will become invoice. No more amendment for the invoice. So whatever the adjustment you're going to do, you need to do using CN or DN, debit note or credit note. All right, understand, huh? So you only have 72 hours from the time you uh, validate the, uh, the date validate invoice date validated by the income tax. Then we have 72 hours to amend and reject. Okay. So if let's say after you issue invoice, you want to re cancel, you can cancel by yourself and then you reissue again the new invoice to your customer. Okay. After e invoice complete, so both party actually you can get a summary for the my invoice portal and the API site. You have a list of invoice by the 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 validated invoice. So for you to do the reference. So and then income tax say they will keep all the e invoice in your under your company my invoice portal. So next time you you can't say that I I lost the I don't have the invoice I for I I lost the invoice uh copy. So don't worry, uh, everything will be in. If let's say you lost, you still can go to the My Invoice portal and find out the invoice and give to your supplier or give to your uh, auditor, whoever they're asking you for the invoice, all right? So this is the invoice process flow, all right? So 
how to know after you submit the invoice whether the invoice is considered submitted valid invalid or cancelled so that is the guide this is a guide given by the income test they might have a value one two three four for you to check uh. if let's say one means that you submitted you pass but still pending for validation second two is a valid valid means the invoice is successful validated by the income test invalid Number three means that the status is submitted in what, but there's a uh, issue to validate that unable to validate. Four is the cancel the invoice has been cancelled by the supplier. So this is the uh, guide given by the income test. Maybe later you check your my invoice portal, you will see the what's number one, what's number two, what's number three. So this is the guide for you to reference, All right? So just now I say you have two methods to issue e invoice. One is use the My Invoice Portal under the My Test. Second one is API. API is referring to using the software. Software will integrate with the Income Test Portal and then you, you, you send your invoice through their uh, API to the Income Test. So My Invoice Portal is attached with the My Test. Uh. So this is the free My Invoice Portal. If let's say your business is very small, you say, I don't want to upgrade the software. You can use the My Invoice Portal to issue invoice to your customer because this is free, yeah? All right? And this is uh, this is managed by the income tax, better to my tax. All right. So for the API, of course, API is the software. You if for the uh company, if let's say you have many transactions, of course we encourage you. You must use the API method. When you use the API software, you after you issue invoice, the software might have a turn uh, for you to. Uh, submit the invoice to the income tax to get the validation. Okay, so that is a two method. So uh, if let's say anything happens, actually your company can choose use two method, either one method also can, or combination of two method. Let's say some of the invoice I use my invoice, some of the invoice I use API also can. But, more, but mo mostly most will be integrated. Lah. Make sure that you don't issue the duplicate invoice. Lah. All right. So this is the e-invoice process flow from the income desk guide. I just shared you. Actually, it's the same as what you I mentioned just now. The sixth, uh, the sixth flow. All right, it's the same. I just for for you to reference. So, uh, in the last week, uh, March twentieth, twenty twenty four, income desk announced that the my invoice portal will be starting to be free to use from first August twenty twenty four. So everyone can log in to the My Invoice Portal and try and see whether how, how to use the one. All right. So just wait. We we just need to wait up because until now uh, the software uh, the My Invoice haven't haven't ready yet. The software also haven't ready yet. Okay. So if let's say there's any failure scenario like My Invoice Portal is down, API Invoice Portal is down. So maybe like no internet or system down, you unable to issue invoice. So you have an option later, like if let's say once API, my invoice is back online, so you can upload all the invoice they want to submit for validation in one time, or you submit one by one the invoice to the income tax later, once it's ready. So no problem. You can submit in one time, but upload or manual import one by one. So what is the workaround if let's say the system is now uh, income test say they will make sure the system will be available 99.97 percent on time maybe sometime they will be down but they will make sure uh, mostly will be on time no issue so if let's say really you are there's a in uh system down you're unable to submit to income test so they still given you 72 hours to reissue back the invoice once the system is ready right 